Water is difficult in stop motion. Not only are we talking about water, we're talking about an ocean. Characters are on a boat made out of leaves. Rain is pouring down now, building into full-blown storm. It's at night, and there was a sword fight. Puppets are jumping off of a boat into the water, splashing through the water. Both above the water and below the water. Coming up out of the water, they're wet. They're getting back onto the origami boat. It's a rainstorm that's happening. It's crazy. I mean, it was so crazy. There were definitely times where I felt like we bit off more than we could chew. You know, characters animating in water, bad idea. <laughs> it's a pretty good idea. Just wide, vast oceans of this stuff. We go to the animation and the rigging teams, and we say, OK, how would you guys do this if you could forget about all the computers? We take all of that practical reference. We do a photorealistic interpretation, and then we start to iterate. And then we iterate, and we iterate, until finally we land somewhere that feels like it belongs in this world. At the beginning of a project, you start off, you've got a script, and you scratch your head and think, how on earth are we going to achieve these things? Kubo's boat was the one that we really were just, how on earth are we going to achieve that? You know, it's fabricated to look like it was folded out of paper. But if you look very closely, it's made of thousands and thousands of leaves. Then we had to get it to move properly in the water. We created this entirely new motion control system, which moves it essentially on all axes to make it look like it's carving its way through a big, violent storm. That was all leading to one of the most challenging parts of the film. You have this big, dynamic action sequence that happens on this boat during a raging storm. We have to choreograph a scene one frame at a time, but it needs to feel really spontaneous and that it's happening in the moment. There's so many disparate elements, and you're shooting these things out of sequence, months apart from each other. Just the amount of planning was incredible. Some really you know, emotional performances happening, too. And we don't want that to get lost in the requirements it takes to pull off this big scene. If you looked at the beginning of the process and thought, how are we ever going to do this, uh, you would hang your head and just want to go home. But between the different departments here, there's always someone who comes up with some brilliant way, whether it's really lo-fi, something that feels like it's very simple, or a combination of that and high-tech stuff. At this point, getting through this process, knowing that we can make a small-scale movie feel like a large-scale epic, it gives me the confidence that we can basically tell any kind of story moving forward, and this, this group of people can do it extraordinarily well.